okay if you're just tuning in hey so i wanted to show you a couple new toys that i got first i got a large mold from modern craft lab i have used it once so don't mind that so it's really 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 big as opposed to the tulip mold so hopefully you can see so and I also got a vibrating table. Let's see, where's the thing? So, so we're gonna try out these new, um, the new molds for you. Also, the the big one that I got. Also, I bought the lid. So let's see. So I don't know if you can see the difference, but there's quite a big difference in size. So we're going to make two. These are the lids. Okay. And then I also had a um, request to do uh, a two-tone. So um, half one color and half another. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out uh, because I, sometimes I just make it... Um, kind of like that on accident, to be honest. Um, but we're going to go ahead and try to do it today for this video. So we, and then I had to put a piece of plywood, about a one-inch piece of plywood underneath the crafting paper because um, it just seems to be a little unleveled. So... So we're going to start with our handy dandy solo cups. Since I'm making two different colors, I'm going to need two cups. So one is going to be the base um, for the, uh, we're going to do the, we're going to do the small mold first. Um, let's see. So we've got our solo cups. And as I've stated in a couple of other videos i like to put for the small, small well it's a 3.5 uh size tulip mold for modern craft labs it takes about with the lid it takes about up to the bottom of the solo cup or the top of the line with cemental and then i'm gonna get i'm gonna use green for my first color because it's the holiday season so I get I do get a lot of questions that ask like how much you know pigment do you use by the way this is from direct colors I got the sample pack and I got like five different colors I don't really measure because I'm only making like one or two at a time so this is just going to be for the tulip so I use a little tongue depressor craft stick I use about, probably about, maybe a teaspoon. I'm going to put that in the solo cup first. And then I add some distilled water because it just works better. So, some people do it the other way. I just find it easier to mix the cement in because you can always add more cement, but you can't really change, change it out. Or cover it or whatever. And definitely no speed before that because you can... I don't really know how much the ratio I like to use for here in Florida, I like to use about 4 to 1, 4 parts cement to 1 part water. Okay, so that's Anyway, the demolding part is the funnest part because that's when you get to see it. I'm going to leave this a little bit thin because I'm gonna start with the white, because I'm gonna do two colors. So. Same thing, now with this I use about a little under a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon. I could change the dioxide, but that's only because I <laughs> ran out of my Earthspace Finishes pigment paint, and I have some coming to be here in the office. I'm gonna do it on white. Okay, so I'm gonna do it on white. I personally do like 
to marble my vessels. So on the next one, I'm definitely going to do the marble. my phone slash camera will show you without vibrating off the darn table this awesome new tool so I'm going to actually pour it while it's on the vibrating table takes away the banging so I'm going to do the white first
noticed. But it is really working the air bubbles out, so that's a good thing. pour the lid because it is it slides off so with the lid I kind of have to hold it on the vibrating table but <clears throat> for those of you that you know hate those air bubbles in that in the lid you know in the sides and stuff I have I just got this but I have used it a couple times and it really does work I don't have those ugly little air bubbles that I had in the, in the crevices. So I'll turn it on for a minute. You see how it just spreads out? This one, I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be a little bit marbled. <laughs> For the lid, anyway.
then you don't want to move it too much. And then I've got my, see, and my table is not really level. <laughs> so, and then I put the casing over it. And then I will set it to the side or, you know, in this case, I'm going to actually move it completely off of the table because So this is a little different. It's a little too big to put on. Again, a little bit thinner than I normally do for the regular size. I just kind of drizzle it back and forth. And because I'm going to marble it, I'm going to put a little more green in there. And I'm going to try to do it in thin little lines. And then I'm going to tap it down. Because this is such a big one, that's why I'm tapping it and banging it down. Try to do this quickly. It doesn't really sit too long on the, but it just gets the bubbles out enough to. Plus, it helps spread some of your mixture. Uh, they love their vibrating table and they've never 
actually had to bang their vessels. So that gives me hope. I like to squeeze it at the bottom. It makes these really cool designs. I do notice that also if you do the vibrating table too long, you get so many air bubbles in the bottom of your vessel that it you can just just too many. So Level. I don't know if you can see this big, the big one, but I can 
I don't know, the verdict is kind of out on this big mold. Real quick, I wanted to show you that I went to Home Depot because I was looking for like another casing for some of my other cement molds. And I picked these up. This is just like a, it's in the plumbing department. Um, this is three inches. Um, and so it does not fit my tulip mold. It just about fits this mold, but not quite. So Home Depot, plumbing department, cuffling or whatever these things are called maybe get a four inch one for all those of you that are using the um, amazon mold i also tried to fit it around my amazon mold which i don't use very often it almost fits but not quite if i would have gotten a four inch it would have been perfect so a couple bucks there's a casing for your amazon mold so we will be back in a couple hours, but in YouTube time, a couple seconds, and we will demold these. I'm not loving the way this one's turning out. <laughs> All right. Okay. Welcome back. This is always my favorite. Hey, welcome back. So it's only been a few minutes in your land. But in my land, <laughs> it has been mm, about three hours. So normally I would let it sit mm, kind of overnight, um, depending on the type of weather that we're having. Today, it's been really dry here in Florida. So um, I actually only let it sit for three hours. So I'm super excited. Don't know which one I should do first. We're going to do with the one that um, was requested that I make, which is the um, two different colors without trying to marble it. But y'all know me in my videos. I really like to marble my concrete. So put my new glasses on and we're going to take the um, tulip mold we're going to demold that one first so it's kind of it this one is not bad to demold the big one we're going to have an issue Let's see if I can adjust here this is this is my candle studio so ignore my candy cane looking curtains Start with demolding. If you see my videos, I always kind of like to pinch all the way around first. It kind of loosens up the mold. Well, okay. Boom. It's, it's got a really nice smooth bottom, so you can tell that the vibrating cables that I got really did its trick. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then I just fold it in half. And then I just pop it out. Ooh, look at that. Not bad. And then I kind of go all the way around until I hear a little popping sound. Oh, I like it. As you can see the edges. I, I love this. I love this. I don't have to do much sanding. Yes. So this was requested by one of the viewers that I make a two different colors. So I, earlier in the video, I showed you how to do it. Um, it actually came out really good. And I don't have to do much sanding because I put it on my new vibrating table to get out those air bubbles really, really works. I highly recommend the vibrating table. Really pretty. So next we'll just do the little lid, which I also put on the vibrating table. And I don't, if you have made um, con or cement vessels before, then you know that it's so, kind of hard to get the around the edges around these darn modern craft lab 
um, molds. They're perfect. They're high quality. They're wonderful. But it's always hard to get those little air bubble pockets. So let's see how it did. Same thing. I kind of pinch around. A few air bubbles, but literally almost not noticeable. So I'm definitely happy that I invested in this vibrating table. It's also called like a dental something or other. So love it. Love the lid. The lid came out perfect and smooth and white. And the bottom, I just have to sand a little bit. Um, but really, it did the trick on the, the air bubbles and it fits nice and secure. Like I really like this. So to the viewer that asked me to do the two colors, thank you. Cause I really, really love this. Yes. This will be part of the sticks and stones um, Christmas. Next, let's do the big boy. This one. But first, we're going to do the lid. Again, I did put the lid on the um, vibrating table uh, for a little bit. Yeah, let's see. This, the big daddy here, I'm going to do. is just so big <laughs> so it turned out a little discolored with the cement color but I like it came out smooth as you can see there's no air bubbles and you can see earlier in the video how I put it on the the vibrating table to kind of knock out the um, bubbles and um, this one again I really don't have to do too much sanding I do like to sand a little bit because I don't want any sharp edges, but I really am loving the fact that there's literally no air bubbles around this lid lip. So now for the one that, <laughs> that I've been waiting for, the big papa. It, it's, I normally don't like to take it out. It's, it's should not be warm to the touch when you take these out. Um, it actually should be cool to the touch if you have to wait overnight wait overnight it's worth it it is so much fun it's literally like christmas morning so just move this up just a little bit so yes and it's chilly in florida so i have a blanket over my door okay i'm scared y'all this is very hard to remove i'm gonna start again the same way i kind of pinch but this time i'm gonna slide be careful don't cut yourself on these obviously cement edges because they are very sharp and with this one just gonna Ooh. I like to slide this one down because it's just a lot easier and I can't even grip it it's very thick and yeah so once it's over the thing, you shouldn't have too much. Oh, that is so pretty, y'all. That's why I like marbling. It's just you get a different time, a different pattern like every time. So. already done so do me a favor and like and subscribe and I'm gonna tr definitely keep making content I love 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 this definitely got to sand it a little bit because it's got some sharp corners this is the the swirls and whatnot that I tried to get throughout the vessel but you know what it's it's a piece of art so it literally comes out the way it wants to come out and yeah but I love this. 
I do love the bottom though. <laughs> so, and you can see it's huge, it's ginormous, it is so smooth. I am loving the vessels from Modern Craft Lab. Um, they are made in the USA with durable, high quality silicone. Um, I've heard that, that if you contact them or email them, that they can actually um, do your logo right into a mold. I'm sure it's way more money um, than the $89. $89 for this big boy. And then another $30 for the lid. It's totally worth it. It's totally worth it. If you are into making your own vessels, um, you want to invest in something other than, you know, the $10 Amazon because you get what you pay for. And I'm loving these molds. So Modern Craft Labs, thank you so much. You got an awesome product. So I love this. I think it is four inches from edge to edge. I have not um, tested these yet for the my larger candles. Um, so I can't really tell you yet <clears throat> what wick to use. I am going with wood wicks for all my sticks and stones collection at the Tipsy Candle because I just like the name sticks and stones. Plus I love wood and cement. I, I It's just, it's soothing. It's beautiful. It's classy. It's, it's just perfect. So um, eventually I will get into testing this one with the wooden wicks. Um, and the tulip molds, um, I'll have to make a video um, that shows what I do. Um, I've got tons of pictures, um, but I, I haven't filmed a video of me making actual um, candle with my cement vessels. They always sell out. Um, people appreciate what you pour into your business, especially anything made by hand and you actually put in the time. So this big papa and all my other ones, I do a 24 hour water bath, which is I soak it in water. I do use tap water when I water bathe them just because I thought water is expensive to soak them in. Um, and I let them sit for, like I said, 24 hours. It helps strengthen the concrete. Plus it will show if you have your vessel has any cracks. And as a candler, you want to know if your vessel has cracks. So for me, it's a personal choice. I, I like it. I stand by it. So without further ado, the lid on this fits perfectly. It's not loose. It's, it's just, you can't really see how big it is, but it is really big. I'm going to hold up. You see the diff the size difference. So this, um, the 3.5 inch you get it's you can pour like I think it's 11.8 ounces into it to the you know very top but I pour 10 ounces in this vessel because I like obviously I want to put my lid on plus I use wooden wicks so you know you can't bend those and all that so but just to be on the safe side if you do have the 3.5 or any of your vessels actually you should use your scale and tear out, um, you know, how to tear it out. That's a whole nother issue, but you tear it out so you can, uh, you know, and then fill it up and then you can measure and see how much you can actually pour in. So like I said, I am able to pour 10 ounces comfortably into this. This one, I believe it is a 25 ounce uh, container. So we're gonna tear it out and see how much it can actually hold. I'm guessing probably about 20 ounces, maybe 22 ounces. So this is gonna be a nice uh, investment for someone who's gonna want a long burning candle um, made by hand. And plus when you're done, you have planters. You know, if you got a green thumb, get it, it's green. So all in all, I'm really loving to the viewer who, the viewer who, suggested that I do two different colors. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, I love it. Pretty easy to make, but you do got to kind of work quickly. And then this one, my big boy, I'm loving her. 
So, all right. Like I said, if you have any questions, drop me a comment. Um, please subscribe. Um, it does help me to know kind of what direction to take my channel in after five decades of living. I'm finally uh, loving, <laughs> loving and uh, understanding how to use YouTube. So thanks guys for your support and I hope this was helpful. Have a great evening. Okay. You want to know if your vessel has cracks. So for me, it's a personal choice. I, I like it. I stand by it. So without further ado, the lid on this fits perfectly. It's not loose. It's, it's just, you can't really see how big it is, but it is really big. I'm gonna hold up. You see the diff the size difference. So this, um, the 3.5, inch you get it's you can pour like I think it's 11.8 ounces into it to the you know the very top but I pour 10 ounces in this vessel because I like obviously I want to put my lid on plus I use wooden wick so you know you can't bend those and all that so but just to be on the safe side if you do have the 3.5 or any of your vessels actually you should use your scale and tear out, um, you know, how to tear it out. That's a whole nother issue, but you tear it out so you can, uh, you know, and then fill it up and then you can measure and see how much you can actually pour in. So like I said, I am able to pour 10 ounces comfortably into this. This one, I believe it is a 25 ounce uh, container. So we're gonna tear it out and see how much it can actually hold. I'm guessing probably about 20 ounces, maybe 22 ounces. So this is gonna be a nice uh, investment for someone who's gonna want a long burning candle um, made by hand. And plus when you're done, you have planters, you know, if you got a green thumb, get it, it's green. So all in all, I'm really loving to the viewer who, who the viewer who, who suggested that I do two different colors. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, I love it. Pretty easy to make, but you do got to kind of work quickly. And then this one, my big boy, I'm loving her. So, all right. Like I said, if you have any questions, drop me a comment. Um, please subscribe. Um, it does help me to know kind of what direction to take my channel in after five decades of living. I'm finally uh, loving, <laughs> loving and uh, understanding how to use YouTube. So thanks guys for your support and I hope this was helpful. Have a great evening.